life processes in living organisms. Besides life processes like nutrition, respiration, excretion, sensation and response, one more life process occurs in living organisms. It is reproduction. However, reproduction does not help the organism to remain alive but it helps to maintain the continuity of the species of that organism. Asexual reproduction Process of formation of new organisms by an organism of same species without involvement of gametes is called as asexual reproduction. This reproduction does not involve the union of two different gametes. The new organism has exact genetic similarity with the reproducing organism. This is uniparental reproduction and occurs by mitotic cell division. Absence of genetic recombination is a drawback. Whereas, fast process is the advantage of this reproductive method. Asexual reproduction in unicellular organisms First, binary fission. In this process, the parent cell divides to form two similar daughter cells. Binary fission occurs either by mitosis or amitosis. Axis of fission or division is different in different protists. Example, Amoeba divides in any plane due to lack of specific shape. Hence, it is called as simple binary fission. Paramosium divides by transverse binary fission, whereas Euglena by longitudinal binary fission. Binary fission is usually performed by living organisms during favorable conditions, that is, availability of abundant food material. Second, multiple fission. Asexual reproduction by multiple fission is performed by amoeba and other similar protists. Amoeba stops the formation of pseudopodia, it becomes rounded and forms a protective covering around the plasma membrane. Such encysted amoeba or any other protist is called as cyst. Many nuclei are formed by repeated nuclear divisions in the cyst. It is followed by cytoplasmic division and thus many amoebulae are formed. They remain insisted till there are adverse conditions. This breaks open on arrival of favorable conditions and many amoebulae are released. Third, budding. Asexual reproduction occurs by budding in yeast, a unicellular fungus. Yeast cell produces two daughter nuclei by mitotic division so as to reproduce by budding. This yeast cell is called as a parent cell. A small bulge appears on the surface of the parent cell. This bulge is called a bud. One of the two daughter nuclei enters this bud. After sufficient growth, bud separates from the parent cell and starts to live independently as a daughter yeast cell. Asexual reproduction in multicellular organisms. First, Fragmentation In this type of reproduction, the body of the parent organism breaks up into many fragments and each fragment starts to live as an independent new organism. This occurs in algae like spirogyra and sponges like cycon. Whenever there is a plenty of water and nutrients available to spirogyra, its filaments grow up very fast and break up into many small fragments. Each fragment starts to live independently as a new spirogyra fiber. If the body of cycon breaks up accidentally into many fragments, each fragment develops into a new cycon. Second, regeneration. Under certain situations, an animal planaria breaks up its body into each part, regenerates the remaining part of the body, and thus two new. This is called as regeneration. Third, budding. In case of hydra, under favorable conditions, at specific parts of its body, an outgrowth is formed by repeated divisions of regenerative cells of body wall. The outside growth is called as a bud. Bud grows up progressively and finally becomes small hydra. Dermal layers and digestive cavity of the budding hydra are in continuity with those of parent hydra. Parent hydra supplies the nutrition to the budding hydra. 
budding hydra separates from the parent hydra and starts to lead an independent life when it grows up and becomes able to lead an independent life vegetative propagation reproduction in plants with the help of vegetative parts like root stem leaf and bud is called as a vegetative reproduction in potatoes it is performed with the help of eyes present on tuber whereas in pyrophyllum it is performed with the help of buds present on leaf margin in case of plants like sugarcane and grasses vegetative propagation occurs with the help of buds present on nodes plants like carrot and radish performs vegetative propagation with the help of roots 5 spore formation fungi like mucor have filamentous body they have sporangia once the spores are formed sporangia burst and spores are released spores germinate in moist and warm places and new fungal colony is formed thank you for watching the academic squad